What's up guys, we're here with Nathan. He's gonna show off a Dynamorphia deck profile. Any shouts you wanna give before we dive in? Yeah, sure. Shout out to uh, David Doe for putting up with me and uh, doing the cards I am missing. That's this guy right here. Okay, and shout out to uh, this channel as well. Uh, subscribe and shout out to the uh, location where so you can see more sports cards. Best uh, Yu Gi Oh community that we have in Canada. So let's do it. Thank you for that. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and well, get ready to lose in time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Uh, triple Theresia. Uh, when this card is normal summon or special summon, you can set a Dynamorphia trap directly from your deck, so Ash Blossom does not affect it whatsoever. Triple uh, Diplos. A lot of people play two or three. Um, when you normal summon or special summon this card, you Foolish Bow a Dynamorphia card, and that effect actually kind of sucks because Foolishing anything doesn't actually get you anywhere, really. So usually you would brew something that you can copy with Kendra Gina. Uh, but other than that, you can, you can pull this the uh, Theresia if you want. And when both of these are destroyed, you can banish any trap from your graveyard to re one the other. Okay, okay. So that's it for the main monsters. That's not that many monsters. Uh, we triple, there is Triple Ash, Triple Veiler, uh, Ghost Belt. This was a mistake today. Uh, I or, probably cut these in the future. I never resolved it once and I started them out all day. So. What would you play instead of it? I have no idea to be honest. Maybe even I'll, I might main deck D Shifter, I'm not sure. Okay, okay, that's a pretty good card. But maybe, maybe, because there's, so, there's some downsides to that. Okay. So I, I have no idea yet. Maybe, or this could maybe be uh, Moonlight Chill as well. I have no idea. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, only a couple spells, three part of duality and one philosophy. Day. So by playing this ratio is I don't get drilled. And the one, I play only one fossil dig because if you open Theresia and fossil dig, this does nothing for you unless you're playing miscellaneous source. And in this build, I am not. Power Duality will give you the choice of any top three cards. So if you, got three you summon during your opponent's turn with this deck, right? Uh, for the most part, yes. You would no summon or special summon uh, these guys on your turn, and then you summon the fusions on the opponent's turn. Okay, okay, pretty nice. Yeah, and then Power Duality gives you like access to any kind of trap that you would want or anything you're missing. So. The most important part of the deck are the trap cards. So you're playing Triple Domain and Triple Frenzy. These are your fusion cards. So Domain can be activated on other player's turn and you send two Dynamorphias from the main deck to the graveyard or hand or field and they have to be uh, different names. And you have your life points to do so and that will special summon you any of your Dynamorphia fusions. Uh, Frenzy, you use one material from your deck and one from your extra deck as material. Very good so card. That's that a very good card, but it can only be used when you during your opponent's turn. Both of these have your life points and all of the normal traps, you can banish them in response to your opponent's uh, card or effect, and you don't take any effect damage for the rest of that turn, so that will keep you alive. I think that's it for that. So you want to pair those, so you want to make sure these resolve. So we play three intact. This is a monster negate and destroy by paying half of your life points. And you need a dining warfare card in order to activate it. The great thing is, is that if you have any one of these sets with an intact set, uh, and you flip up one of them and your opponent tries to Ash Blossom it, you now control a Dynamo Fair card so you can actually activate the intact to block. Okay, okay, we like that. That's pretty cool. And this pays half your life points too, so that gets your life points down very, very quickly. That gets you down to 2,000 right immediately. That's not good. So if you can protect these or just even having both of these, that's a really good time too because one of these is going to go off. One Dynamo for Sonic, this is a negate the activation of a spell or trap and destroy that card by paying half your life points and then you destroy a Dynamo for your card uh, after it resolves. So you would most likely destroy one of the small guys or if you want to show one of your fusion monsters you can and that gets you floating a little bit. Okay, okay. Dynamo for your alert, uh, you can press summon two of the small guys from your graveyard or one of the fusions by paying half your life points. And I also forgot to mention that the counter traps, uh, you can bash them during damage calculation to make the battle damage you take be zero. Okay, so okay, so having that little battle protection is that will nice. Keep, that will keep you alive. So that's it for the Diamond Morphia traps, regular traps. So, Triple Song Strike. This is another copy of Diamond Morphia Intact, right? So if you have a domain and a strike, that will protect you from Ash Blossom as well. Fair enough. The only thing that's bad by is that you pay 1500 life points. So uh, when you get down to 2000 life points, uh, you have to activate Solemn Strike before you have your life points. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you have to summon Stealth Virgin, which we'll get to in a bit. 
uh, Solemn Judgment. Says you no by paying card. half your life points. Yes, so, sir. You know, you get down to 1,000, and you know, it doesn't cost you any, anything. So. And then more hand traps in perm. And then Threat Flames. So this card, uh, once your life points are nice and low, you flip this up on your opponent, and your opponent must send cards from their monster zones back into their deck so that the total attack points that they control do not exceed your life points. So if your life points are 250, they get nothing. They get a they get snake eye ash maybe. They get nothing unless they have like a zero attack point monster on the field. So that's a very good card. That that can maybe also go to three. So that's it for the uh, main deck. We we'll go to the extra deck. So uh, two Kitragena. This is usually what, or sorry, three Kitragena. This way you're summoning off of Domain and Frenzy. By having your life points, you can. Banish a Dynamorphia trap from your graveyard to copy its effects. Okay, okay. So you summon this with Frenzy, and then you copy Frenzy to do it again, and that summons you your boss monster, which is. Oops, which is. Exterm. So we're playing three of this, and this is your win condition. So while this card is on the field, your opponent cannot activate the monsters on the field whose attack points equal or exceed your life points. So if your life points are nice and low, like at 250, then they cannot activate any monster effects whose monsters have attack higher or greater than 250. Uh, it has another effect, um, a quick effect, uh, during damage calc even as well. Uh, you can half your own life points to make all monsters your opponent controls have their attack become equal to your life points. Okay, so then it just negates the board. I like it. It negates the board and it protects them from battle. So uh, use that effect wisely because if you use it, too early, uh, and you don't have an intact or a counter trap in your graveyard, then you can possibly lose by battle. So be very uh, careful with that. When both of these die, they can reborn a level six or lower uh, dynamo monster from the graveyard, and you don't have to bash anything to do. Stealth Bridge, yeah. When it, it is destroyed by any means, you can reborn a level four or lower dynamo dynamo from your graveyard. When this card is on the field, you you don't pay life points in order to activate uh, card effects, and that includes your Solemn Traps. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice, but like Solemn for free. So, I don't summon it too often, but there are some scenarios that do come up. Its other effect is when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can chain this card to burn them for that monster's attack points. Okay. So, that can be very useful in decks like uh, Labyrinth. If they want to use Lady, uh, both of those ladies, they're going to be paying 3,000 life points at a time. Yeah. So, that card can be really good uh, for that. But normally you don't really summon it, you summon it off a of Frenzy. And then extra, extra deck slots, these can be whatever you want. Uh, Lagia and Dolka are quite standard. You just use two of the uh, main guys, two level fours. Uh, Baguska can save you in a, type, in a tight spot. And then FA Don Dragster and Clear Wing for when you have one of the level fours and one of your level three hand traps. Okay, how often do you find yourself making this? This is probably like SP, right? You wish you had SP here? Or? Uh, nope. Uh, this, I prefer this just fine. Really? Yes. I actually make Dragster a lot. Uh, clear Wing will take care of the Kestira mash for you. Fair enough. You know, stopping those Unicorns and the Fenrir's are pretty nice. Exactly. It's, it's got two negates. It will, it'll negate a Kestira monster effect when they just activate their effect, and then they will also, it will also stop the Fenrir from targeting your thing. So, two negates on Clear Wing, so that's really good. Fair enough. Uh, this guy, easy to make and tough for people to out, so I definitely highly recommend playing it. Uh, and this one, I'm not exactly sure about Nightmare Unicorns. Sometimes there are problems that come up and you just have to get rid of them off the board. Uh, but usually, uh, go into this guy. Fair so, enough. Would I you replace this with SP? Uh, if I could revive my money tree, maybe? Yeah, fair enough, uh, fair enough. This deck does seem fairly cheap. It is very cheap, so yeah, feel free to keep it up, just uh, or pick it up. But you know, you make losing time, so yeah, which, which I did twice today. So, does it, does it ever feel bad? Like, do you ever know like you're winning a match and then it gets close to time and you just can't do anything against it? Like that both, happened a lot. Both times today, I was against a, a Snake Eye matchup today, and I had my life points so low they couldn't do anything, and we went to time. Same thing against Sword Soul today, so it was, it was quite. Rough. Is there anything that you can do to like end up not to losing the time as much, like? Any like mod just you can like summon out especially and then like beat over any like tips or tricks you have for that? Uh, I don't, mm, uh, not that I can think of. A lot of people play Psychic and Punisher. 
uh, the only problem with that is that it's a win more card, and you have to get rid of your Rexdrum in order to uh, summon it. So that's why I don't play it. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, other than that, um, that's it for the extra deck. We're going to the side deck. Uh, you want to go spell again? Maybe a, maybe a mistake for today. Triple D shifter. So ban uh, this card, please, Konami. So the thing with this deck is that if you are going second, then this uh, card doesn't really affect you very much because on your first turn you're normal summoning Theresia, and then you're setting four or setting five, and then passing. And then when you activate Frenzy, you're still going to the graveyard again. So that's good, and it did uh, come in clutch today against Runic, uh, but I decided then every single match and didn't see it unfortunately. So uh, evening match. Uh, Anti-spell, which came in nice and handy today. Yeah, we're not playing many spells, so that makes sense for sure. And we play Wannabe. So, when uh, you decide Wannabe and when you're going first, so at the end phase you discard this card and you get to excavate uh, cards equal to the amount of your opponent's unused spell and trap zones. Okay. And from those excavated cards, you can set a trap card. So, if you're trying to dig for Anti-spell, that's a really good way Pretty to do that. Good, yeah. The only catch is that if uh, that the trap goes to the graveyard at the end phase of the next turn. But you know, you don't need you don't need an anti spell to be phased up for one turn, right? So, yeah. And that gets you to any one of your like fusion cards and any one of your dynamo cards. So great card. And Cosmic Cyclone did not uh, play it today or did not side in today, but you know it's good to have. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, congratulations here, and that looks pretty cool. I definitely like picking it up myself, and uh, thank you for the deck profile. Yeah, no problem.